feels, it looks, and it smells like a regular biscuit. This gravy tastes just like the gravy that you would get at a mom and pop restaurant, like a breakfast restaurant. Whoa, oh my word. If you make this, you would have absolutely no reason at all whatsoever ever to miss any other kind of biscuit and gravy again. Hello, welcome to my keto kitchen. I'm Victoria and today we're going to make some keto southern biscuits. I was asked about this and I would love nothing more than to make these biscuits. As a matter of fact, I'm going to add a little bonus on how to make a keto gravy. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the video. So let's get started because keto southern biscuits are actually extremely easy to make. Right here I have one cup of heavy whipping cream and I've warmed it up in the microwave for about 45 seconds. I'm going to add one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar to the heavy cream. This actually does two things. This causes the biscuits to have more of a buttermilk taste, but also apple cider vinegar helps with the leavening that is in your flour. Two and a half cups of my self-rising flour. That's very important. We are going to put this into the food processor and cubed cold butter that I'm gonna sprinkle around. We're gonna pulse the butter into the flour. Let's pulse. Okay, now we're gonna put it all together. First thing we're gonna use is the flour. Then I'm going to sprinkle in one quarter of a cup of allulose because pretty much everything made in the South has to have sugar in it. However, one quarter of a cup of allulose will not make these biscuits sweet, but it does make the biscuit as a whole, it finishes the biscuit. Kind of what I wanna say. It's not a sweet biscuit, but it finishes the biscuit. You're not left with a wanting taste. I hope that helped. Okay, allulose is mixed. Now, I am going to pour in the one cup of heavy cream that has the one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, and I am going to do my best to mix this up. Okay, now this dough is very sticky. It should give us a very fluffy biscuit. This is what the dough looks like. It is very, very sticky. Very, very sticky. Ah, it does not stick. Okay, this recipe has given us nine biscuits. I'm gonna put these in the oven at 450 degrees for about 10 minutes, and I'm gonna be watching carefully to make sure that they do not over brown. Be right back. Now, I told you we would make some keto gravy, so that's what's next, and this is delicious. There's no difference in taste between this and regular gravy. So, I'm putting my stove top on a medium heat. First, we need to cook the sausage. And by the way, this is one pound of sausage. Okay, now that the sausage is fully cooked, I'm going to add three tablespoons of butter. Next, I'm going to sprinkle one quarter of a cup of my all-purpose flour over the sausage. I'm going to put one teaspoon of salt, half of a teaspoon of black pepper. I need to mix this up. Okay, now this right here is one and a half cups of water and one and a half cups of heavy cream. So a regular recipe will ask for whole milk, but we're using half, one and a half cups of heavy cream and one and a half cups of water. I'm going to let this simmer for about five minutes. This is what our biscuits look like. I'm going to break one in half for you. Nice, big, puffy biscuit, and the inside is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, we are done with the biscuits. We're done with the gravy. Now I'm gonna try a biscuit. I've made these before. I love these biscuits. Let's see, this is the one I showed you already. It's beautiful. It feels, it feels, it looks, and it smells like a regular biscuit. It's airy, light, fluffy, buttery, 
I mean, they're, I just don't know how you can beat it. I want my name all over this biscuit. Now, I am going to top it with some amazing gravy. If you make this, you would have absolutely no reason at all whatsoever ever to miss any other kind of biscuit and gravy again. I'm just going to finish my breakfast, then I'll be right back. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you make these. If you do, please leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I would love to have you around here weekly. I post videos on Tuesday and Friday, and you have a blessed day.